Hi, my name is Jeffrey Van Ketsen. I'm part of the Open Source Technology Center and I'm here to walk you through a video showing a demonstration combining the Acorn hypervisor with the Zephyr real-time operating system. In this video you will see a service OS based on a clear Linux that starts a privileged virtual machine that is running uh, the Zephyr real-time OS and then the second virtual machine is a so-called normal virtual machine running another instance of clear Linux. So there is device sharing capabilities demonstrated here in between the service OS and the virtual machine running Linux and then the Zephyr will be running a benchmark showing the real-time data that we've been able to collect. And the first thing you see is obviously the platform booting up so you see the grab menu, the Acorn hypervisor is up and running and is loading the service OS. So the service OS is starting. We have enabled a full desktop environment in that service OS. So I'll be logging in into the desktop environment and then from then on using the uh, virtual machine manager and the Acorn uh, device model, I'll be starting up a couple of virtual machines as described. So one will be a privileged virtual machine running the Zephyr real-time OS, the second one is a virtual machine running clear Linux. So let me start out from the script. We'll open a couple of terminal tabs, the uh, console into the virtual machines. So the first one is from the Zephyr virtual machine. Uh, you can see it's Zephyr has booted and I will move on to the next tab, the user OS tab, where uh, logging in you will also see the information from the clear Linux virtual machine uh, starting up. You will see a window that is still blank at the moment. This is a small visualization tool that helps us visualize graphically the benchmarking data that we get from what is running inside Zephyr and this is the result of a, a benchmark called cyclic test. So let me just start that test. Uh, I'll select a module called RT test and then uh, with the command I can start the test itself which is what you see here start cycle. And here are the numbers and that visualization window will now display uh, the data that we are collecting as part of it. In order to have some load on the system you'll notice that we have a couple of things running. We run GLMark2 on the service OS and this is the spinning horse that you can see. You will see some data about it in terms of uh, the frames per second it can achieve and the resolution it has. We are using two full HD monitors in this demo. Uh, one is running the GLMark2 and the second monitor is actually controlled by the virtual machine running clear Linux. Um, so these two, the service OS and the virtual machine, are sharing the same uh, GPU but they have each their own dedicated monitor. Let me conclude and summarize a, uh, a couple of things that we have seen today together. First of all, we have seen the combination of the Acorn hypervisor open source project that is now running the Zephyr open source real-time OS in a virtual machine. Different ways we can run that in different modes of configuration. And the second thing that you really have seen is a little glimpse into some of the data and the benchmarking that we are starting to do when running Zephyr in a real-time configuration. That means setting the Zephyr as the privileged real-time virtual machines and sharing workloads with the rest of the system but still being isolated and getting us uh, fairly good results. So with that, let me thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions about those, feel free to contact us for further details. Thank you and goodbye.